You know, the more I think about it, the more I realized in the last one, whenever Zora was listing out the plans, I couldn't tell if that was like filler and batting for pacing or if it was a bit. It's like the line of reality is starting to blur with Toei. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today Dress Rosa continues. And it looks like it's gearing up for the Pika Zoro finale that we have been waiting for for quite some time. And I, I just wonder, does Zoro actually have a plan to finally do it? Or is it just gonna be the same old like cut and repeat of him slicing him up like butter and then him just respawning but this seems more you know the climactic if that makes sense gonna hop right into this one drop us up if you do and let's get started as goofy as Pika is, and like not seemingly as powerful as he could be, he's probably one of my favorite family members. Like out of the executives, it's just so cool. Just like the, the sheer size of him, it's just absurd. I kind of wish Sabo was more of a part of all this. Like I know he's kind of like, like keeping the ground on lock, but even the Navy soldiers like stepped aside. I mean, Elizabeth's ready, baby. You call him in, Zoro. The rector. Oh. <laughs> if you mean Commodore, that's me. He's gonna ask him to throw him? Oh my gosh. Bro, the bandana's on. Pico, Piku's entire, Pico's entire existence should be shattered. <laughs> I, I saw Riku and thought Piku. How are you guys cheering for Pika? He could step on you and not even care. You guys are shooting at stone. I guess they gotta try, you know? Like he's, he's such a monster, it won't, won't even matter. Dude, what a way to go out. I mean, it'd be pretty instant, I won't lie. Less painful than somehow some other people have died in Dress Rosa thus far. Exhibit A. <laughs> I'm sorry, he died. Take me, leave, ever, leave all the people. He's a true king, man. Dude, I almost wish it hadn't shown him asking uh, or Lumbus, like, hey, you throw people, right? Cause now I just, I'm just waiting for it. I, I also do hope Elizabello is like part of this whole plan five. You guys should go. Tunk! Dude, the aura. Yeah, he's such a man. He's crying. They know. They know he was never the one. Never the one that, like, screwed them over, basically. You know, usually I'd be like, ooh, stop, do something, but he's done plenty. Dude. Hold. Wait, he's coming, he's coming. I can feel it. But like, what would Zoro's plan change be? Aside from like everything he's tried so far is like cutting him up. <laughs> oh, he's so sure. He's only using two, too. He's gotta get some distance. Here he goes. So he's, he usually bowls though. He's gonna bowl him into the air? Oh no, they're on the lateral. Oh my gosh. So the question is, what does Zoro aim for? Does he know where Pika hides inside the monstrosity now? <laughs> this is so funny, man. Now or never. Dog, Riku's bravery to just stand there as this comes like just flying at him. The people. Oh, shoot. Dang, bro! W civilians. We all die together, baby. Dude, that's gotta break his heart. <laughs> his PR team has been doing wonders. I love how Pika stopped mid, like, slap. Zoro! Oh! He's juicing! Oh my gosh! <laughs> God damn! He's moving at the speed of light! Zoro can fly! Oh, the third, the third blade! The armament into the blade! Oh shit! Dude. Dude! Dude! What is this move called? Oh, like if they win, he wouldn't take the throne? They'd want him to. God dang right, baby. <laughs> Meanwhile, this absolute demon freaking Zoro is launching at Pika. It must be hard to keep control. What is he saying? Cube that Chilio call. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I love the colors of his blades, too. <laughs> Dude, every shot, the best five shots of Usopp is just him screaming. Ah, oh, here we go. 
<laughs> dog, dog. Billion fold world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fuck. <laughs> dog. Oh my. Import side. Oh no. He's gonna come. Billion world fold. Dude, dude, dude. Dude. That shit goes crazy. <laughs> I like how like all the people are panicking and like Pika's like monologuing back and forth and Zoro's just like throughout heaven and earth. I am alone. The strongest. Got him right in half. Maybe it was a big deal that Pika couldn't see it coming because all the other attacks he's seen coming has been able to shift away. This one, he's so, he's cut off. He's in the upper body, but he's not on the ground. If Zoro can keep cutting him while he's in the air, where can he go? I think I see plan five. If he had gone into the lower half, he would have had a shot. Oh my gosh. He is Himothy. He's looking for the, the, the real one. Yep, there it is. It'll keep shrinking and keep shrinking. Dude, how is he supposed to I, I get more air? Just keep cutting in halves. I saw the guy with the pot on his head again. I like Kinemon, like, watch out, because he's a swordsman too. He's like, this guy's crazy. Where is he? Where's the body? Titan. Uh-huh. Dude, I gotta rewatch that. That was crazy, man. I just like the way the blades look when they have hockey. Like, it's like darker. It's sick. Oh. There he is. Yes. They're gonna fight on the falling pieces. Damn. Y yes, that's, that's exactly what. Clad in hockey. Oh my gosh. It's like Vergo. His whole body. Oh, shoot. Wait. Yeah, I was going to say his blades are have armament hockey now. Oh, dog. Dude, Pika. He's got his headband on. Like, it's... it's. Yeah, I'd be terrified, man. Fools! Absolute fools! Oh, a frog in the well! Oh, shit. What a callback! Pika has no idea how outmatched he is, how small he is in this world. A step in his journey. Dude. The same, showing the direct progress, the same move all this time later. Oh man. Dude, his blades look so cool. The same move, but so much stronger now. So it was 3,000 war. Oh my gosh. And he couldn't have lost harder. Oh, Pika. Oh, Pika. He's saying it again. Nothing. Bro, what a shot. The same move. Oh, damn. It's over. Full hockey Pika is nothing. Is a frog in the well. Columbus is like, what did I just throw? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This Pika, his body, it fell. Dude, Zoro, dude, he popped off so hard. Your turn. Oh, Elizabello! It's your moment, baby. Yes! He's so cool, man. Oh my. Oh my. Ah! Ah! Dog. Dog. Elisabello might unironically be one of the strongest in the world if he has time to charge up his bunch. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, dude. It almost went even harder because of how fast that transpired. There was no buildup or anything. He was just like, I got you. Boom. He was so far from him. Let's go. It's it's over. It's freaking over, baby. Another fight down and what a conclusion, man. Dude, Dress Rosa is delivering. 720, let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so aggressive.
Oh, oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Dog, dog. Oh, his, his entire like uh, mask and his helmet split. I mean, we barely even got to see what the, the results of oh. <gasps> his training with Mihawk. Dude, we're getting a, we're getting to see some of the training. Every sword could become the Black Blade. <laughs> and now he has, and his blade will never nick again. That is such a cool like flashback. Oh man, I live for moments like those, man. It's the little things. His sword is in perfect shape after all that god if only if only mihawk could have seen that man gosh he's so cool man oh fujitora thanks to you oh bro elizabella just launched all of it over other civilians <laughs> yeah actually though oh my gosh i didn't think about that and he just slowed it down and it slowly landed i'm guessing uh, the bell guy with the pot on his head! There he is again! I'm not crazy! <laughs> Bro's just scooting that old lady away. He's so cool. <laughs> Bro, peek his legs. <laughs> and Bart's just happy to witness more of the straw hats in prime form. Robin's like classic Zora. Oh my! Oh my gosh! What the hell? Bro! Bro! I waited like 60 or 70 episodes for them to attack the factory and it blows up in like one second? Oh my gosh! Oh! Bro. All I can think about right now is Kaido. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Oh, Doflamingo's getting an update. Dude, what? Wait, how's Law doing? You don't have Manchuri anymore. You fool. Clueless, man. Mm -hmm. She's safely in the arms of Leol. Oh, the reunion. Aww. We're so back, baby. Bro. Bro. <laughs> what a cute moment, man. You're so gallant. <laughs> Dude, having... Oh, wait. She doesn't have the cry? She can just, like, spawn it? Oh, that's right. It takes her life force. And he doesn't want it. Damn. Dude, Kiros. He's... He's... Ugh. He's such a, a role model. He'd rather everybody else be healed. I wonder how much life force it takes from her. Dude, oh my god, Dad, dog. <laughs> the factory blowing up is just like, blowing up is like cherry on top. I think this is the most destroyed we've ever seen like anywhere like a major event in One Piece has taken place. Actually, no, Thrower Bark was pretty bad. No, this is probably worse, widespread. Marine Ford was pretty bad too. I mean, Marine Ford, they literally had to rebuild it. But this is, this is pretty disastrous. I mean, that's... The only the only battles left, no? The stuff with Bellamy, Law, Luffy, Doflamingo, and Treble. The, that's that's the main group. The the factory's blown up. She's still calling him Lucy. Man, Cherie's like, I guess, yeah, go, Luffy, whoever you are. They need to get her in there, bro. And heal Law, especially. Law's like on the brink. And then Luffy's getting just pummeled by Bellamy because he refuses to hit him. That's like, out of all these scenarios and all these battles, that is like the worst of the worst right now. And it's it's the most important one, arguably. Not arguably, it is. Hey, Don't the the, the the raid boss. Oh my gosh, man! Yeah, I would love if Sabo could get there. Oh, he's in the Coliseum. But she could help, though. He hears Luffy, and he knows he can help. It's just like, it takes forever to get to from point A to point B in Dressrosa. <laughs> Usopp's so worried about him. Aww. Aww, that's so sweet. He said, of course I am. Bro, <laughs> he does not do it for the praise. I'll tell you what. Speech, 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 speech. <laughs> From one swordsman to another. No reason to solve right now. 
True. Yep. Yeah, even if they wanted to evacuate or anything, they just can't. Like, do it's either Doflamingo or nothing. It's all or nothing. Oh my gosh, bro. How is he still bouncing? It's incredible. Is Livy gonna have to stop him with one single punch again? I feel like that would be the coolest outcome. I'm not gonna lie. You know why, Luffy? He's conflicted. He knows he is. He's gone on this path and he's just committing to it. I respect that man. I mean, dude, all those years looking up to him, him being your hero, it's hard to just change on a dime. And he was fine dying for nothing. Can't ask for more. He, he like, doesn't think he's earned it. Dang, bro. Dude, that's so sad. By another man I admire. Man, I don't want anything to happen to him. He's trying to for he's trying to force Luffy into delivering that final blow. That's respect to him. God dang it. Oh, he saw. He saw. Dude. Oh my god, I heard the bell sound effect. That was that was actual chills, man. God damn. Oh my gosh. Come on, Bellamy. Dude, Luffy is pissed. Oh, this is so sad. Dude, he knows he's gonna die, dude. Oh. He's more pissed. Yeah, he's mad at Doflamingo for turning him into this. This is it. Oh no, oh no. It's gonna be the same punch with, the, with hockey. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. The exact same punch. It's it's how it had to end. Oh my god, it's gonna make Luffy so mad that he had to do that. Oh my gosh. Buddy is going to rage into Doflamingo. Dude, I that makes me so sad. He's like, huh? I did. Yeah, Bellamy's not dead. It's it was genuinely just to make Luffy angry. Oh man, bro, he shot Law like five times. What? Brother! Oh my gosh! Dude, there's no way Law, like, off-screen dies. Like, it doesn't happen like that. There's, like, just no possible chance. Oh my- One, two, three, four, five- Six shots? Plus his arm being cut off. Dude, it, it almost- it, it makes me sad that the entire situation with Bellamy was strung out. Because I feel like it would have been so much more impactful to have that scene just saved. Instead of just, like, every other episode checking in and he's still bouncing and he's still flying around yelling back and forth with Luffy. Instead, we have just, just gotten these scenes because that hit so hard, man. His admiration for Luffy beginning just as since he saw that shadow in the sky. Oh my gosh, man. What a full circle moment. What an it, awesome moment. And for Luffy to take him down with the exact same punch just with hockey. Oh my gosh, man. I really got to read the manga for this out of this because I know that like people say that the manga pacing is better, but I think that's the one thing in this arc thus far that has suffered the most was that scene right there. Everything else, it's like, ah, oh, it's kind of funny. It's like, it's like bad pacing. It's whatever. But a very emotional scene like that, a very heartfelt scene, I feel like it needed to be more concise. But dude, Zoro had his god dang moment baby and then flashing back to dracula mihawk and, and his training and everything it was gorgeous well done man just so good seeing very concrete pun not intended evidence of how far zoro has come to him calling pika the frog in the well and then using the exact same move that he used on mihawk all those years ago and slicing through that which should not be able to be sliced Hockey! Like, how different would it be now if he used the same move against uh, against Mihawk because he's able to actually cut hockey and, and uh, against the blade? Either way, man, that has been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit, and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.